This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Um, some of you guys seem to like the PAV video I did um, last time. So it's something I'm going to do again. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. We just pulled out of a site and into a lay-by be a small lay-by <laughs> just to um, get the GoPro set up so you are hands-free on my chest uh, specifically sort of just under my chin really if I have you any higher like on my head then you're all you're gonna see is the stuff up above me you're not gonna see anything else because my eyes are obviously lower than my head <laughs> um, so this is kind of like the closest you're gonna get really to eye level other than maybe if it went on my shoulder I suppose um, but even then, you know, it's not going to be much different, I don't think, from how it is now. So hopefully you enjoy. We are in Tiverton. Um, or is it Torrington? We've been to Tiverton and Torrington. I can't remember which one it is that we're at. Uh, but we're on the B3227 and we are basically heading back to the yard. It's a three-hour drive back to the yard. We have to do a trailer swap and... Um, basically go and do something else we have a flatbed on at the moment that doesn't matter that's by Dubai you're not going to see that in um in this video this is just a little bit of POV going down some country lanes because it is a little bit snug down some of these roads uh as you will uh inevitably see hopefully we don't um come across anything too large at the smallest points but we'll have to see so yeah um welcome to my channel those of you who don't know who I am my name is Luke and uh I create video content almost weekly, pretty much weekly. Uh, it's not very often I miss a week. And um, yeah, if you enjoy it, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button and give me a like and comment and all that jazz. If not, then um, obviously don't worry. <laughs> not gonna lose any sleep. So yeah, so I'm gonna try and talk to you a little bit about, uh, that was a bit snug. <laughs> I'm gonna try and talk to you about some of the features on the truck that uh, some people have asked. Uh, in previous uh, in in the previous video so for example the yellow marks on the dash I don't know if you can quite see that but there are some da uh, yellow markings on the dash unlike a car where normally they are warning lamps these are more information lamps so for example the one on the top is telling me that my mid lift axle is raised that's because I'm empty I'm not carrying anything on the trailer right now, I've just made my delivery. So I've pressed this button over here to lift my mid-lift axle up, and that's just simply telling me mid-lift axle is raised. There's nothing wrong with it, nothing wrong with the truck, it's, uh, it's just raised. Uh, the one underneath that, which you won't be able to see right now because I'm turning right, is telling me my heated mirrors are on. Um, so basically it's raining, so I've turned the heated mirror on so it clears it up quicker. If I press that button over here on the right-hand side, it turns the light off. So not sure whether you saw that, but Basically, there's a switch down here, turn it off, and uh, the heated mirrors are no longer on, which means the lamp, the lamp is off over here. So, yes. Uh, the other one, which you will see occasionally when I use my engine brake, is over here on the right-hand side. It looks like a circle. If I turn it on now, you might see it. And that's just telling me that my engine brake is on. The truck is now slowing down by using its engine. Um, and then, obviously, I can just turn it back off. So if you see that, that's what that is. And you also, you hear the clunk because there's a bit of a clicky sound. I've uh, got to be a bit careful using it going downhill as I've heard some horror stories regarding trucks that have used engine brakes down a hill on slippery conditions and then it just spins out on itself. So I am uh, being careful of that. Thank you for waiting. So yes, anyway, this is just going to be uh, a drive through the countryside I want to do one going through London city centre as well, so hopefully I can have like a compilation of uh, videos in different scenarios. I think that would be pretty cool. So engine brake is on because we're about to go down a hill. Just being mindful there's nothing coming the other way. You'll, uh, you'll see that we will go over the white lines every now and then because we are a large vehicle and also sometimes it is just better just to go directly across rather than around. This is something that I strongly agree with. Um, it's not driving dangerously, as long as you're doing it sensibly. Uh, and I think there's many benefits to it. So, for example, you get to maintain your speed. 
which means less miles per gallon. Uh, sorry, more miles per gallon because you're consuming less fuel to, to build back up. Um, so if you're saving fuel by doing that, then therefore you're creating less emissions as well. So it's just win-win, I think. Not only that, but um, if you're going in a straight line, there's less um, friction on your tyres, therefore your tyres last longer, and also the road will last longer, so it won't need resurfacing. So I do believe, in some occasions, when it's needed, it's okay to just cut straight across. Others might disagree with that, and that's fine. Um, but that's what I do, so you may hear a noise. In fact, you won't hear a noise because there's a switch down here, I'm gonna press it, and uh, you'll see another orange lamp just come up now. That's because uh, I now have lane departure off. Sometimes you'll see on the dash where the engine brake light is on, which is orange. If I accelerate it, it start flashing. That's, that's then warning me that I've still got the engine brake on, so it's like a visual reminder. Switch it off, and then it stops, um, stops flashing at me, basically. Now, obviously, we drive to the road conditions. So here's an example of it right now. So I'm cutting across the line just because it's safe to do so. I'm, I've cut back in again before this car needs the lane. I've got, I've kept my men, my men, ugh, can't get the words out. I've kept my momentum and uh, it caused no harm to anyone. I checked my mirrors before I did it as well uh, to make sure there was no car overtaking me. Um, and I can't remember what I was going to say before that happened, but that was a good example of going straight across just to save time, fuel and, uh, and well, energy really on anything else. So we've got a hill coming, so I've already got the engine brake on. There was uh, a, a couple of very steep hills actually on the way in, so we're going to get them on the way out as well. Look how much this one goes down, look. It's these hills I've got to be careful at. I don't want to brake too hard with the engine brake, because this is where I'm most likely going to kick out. So I'll just go down nice and slow. We're currently doing 35. Engine brake can come off now because we can just roll it back up. And then foot down to go back up the hill. This is where we start going slow. <laughs> the truck's now found a gear it likes gear number eight that's a question sometimes I'm asked how many gears does the truck have it has 12 gears obviously as you can see it's fully automatic so um, there's no uh, there's no gear gear changes for myself it's very easy to drive literally a wheel steering attendant as some would say There we go, now we're at the top of the crest of the hill, around about now. I will now lay off the accelerator because we're about to go back down a hill. 20% hill. Engine brake is on. I do have slowed down a bit more for this one. Yeah, like I said, it's a very, uh, very hilly area, this bit. Now, we definitely need to take up both lanes to get around this corner. Car needs to slow down, thank you. As you come around that corner, you just saw me in the middle of the road. <laughs> I have to, or as the, uh, the trailer wouldn't get around the bend. You can see on the right-hand side where vehicles have had to use the grass verge. Gotta ask, why don't they just make the road wider there? There we go, a Thurrington. Is that you say it? That's where we are, if anyone's nearby probably recognize the roads this is uh, where it gets a little bit narrow as well I was behind a dustbin coming through here earlier get 
take it nice and slow, just in case anything's coming round. There is a car. You can't stop there, mate. Okay, the car's turning right. Got a kazoo van. Um, I'm pretty sure that car was indicating the left to begin with, uh, so I didn't realise it was turning right, otherwise I would have stopped a little bit sooner. But never mind, we got through that. It's a bit snug getting around through this gap, but we shall make it. There we go. Had to do a bit of, bit of a kink there, because I was looking at the trailer and I was like, yeah, we're getting a bit close to the left now. <laughs> Back down here. This is called Easter Hill. As I said, I'm sure locals will know the area very well. I guess it floods here. Where we are. But yeah, so you're, you obviously you can hear the inside of the vehicle. It's very, very quiet in this Iveco. Sorry, Iveco. I got corrected in my last video. I've always called it Iveco. I don't know why. Um, let's be honest, does it matter? <laughs> Another bit of a flood here, look, straight through it. And out the other side. So I think we've pretty much got the worst of the roads out of the way. Uh, like I said, we're on a B road. B3227 is what we're on currently. And um, we are about to go onto an A road. So here, I, here we go again, Let just sort of hovering the line just to make my, uh, my turning less. Doing that means I can go a little bit quicker. Which means vehicles behind me aren't stuck behind me for as long as uh, either. So it's just, as long as you do it safely, I do, I do honestly believe it's completely safe to do it. It's quicker, saves fuel, saves tyres, saves resurfacing the road, saves time. And uh, as long as you do it properly and carefully, you know, no lives are affected. All good. All gravy, baby. So now we're on the A377, and um, yeah, we'll pretty much take this road now all the way towards the M5. I think we jump onto the A39 beforehand, and then yeah, head on up north, back towards Swindon, which is where we're from. Just tracking the vehicle in front, it's doing 38 miles per hour according to my radar. 125 feet away 115 feet we're catching 108 feet <laughs> Bishop Tolton Bishop's Tolton I wonder if anyone watching my videos live in this little village it appears stags um, are the main housing, I don't know what you call them, estate agents, that's it. Because uh, all I've seen is stags uh, for, for, for houses that are for sale. <laughs> that's all I've seen. Now, is this the part of the journey where we had a lot of cars parked on the left side of the road? I believe it may be. There comes a part in the journey on the way down where there were a load of cars, as I was coming, they were parked on the right hand side of the road, so I had priority, but going out is going to be the other way around. I'm going to have to give way to everyone. I don't think this was it. Yeah, I think this was the part here. So yeah, we've got loads of parked vehicles on the left hand side. It's going to get to a point where I just have to commit. Vehicles are breaking up ahead, so there's something coming. 
So we're just going to nip in the left here. Uh, are you letting me through? I think they are. Didn't see a flash. I understand. Legally, you shouldn't flash. I, I do understand that. See, now this is the difficult bit because I had nowhere to go back there. where that car let me through. I could have stayed there, I suppose, but I'm sort of half in, half out if I stayed there. Lovely. Bit more, and then that's it. Like I said, on the way in, I did stop to let some cars through, but like didn't have to sort of thing. See, then I forgot to take the engine brake off. So it would have just been flashing. <laughs> I didn't realise until I let go of the accelerator, I immediately started slowing down. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's the last of the cars. Now we're parked on the left-hand side of the road. Are you okay? Yep. <laughs> Saw a man on the floor, I was wondering if he was okay then. His hand was in the drain, so he's obviously doing something. If he was just on the floor, I don't know, like if his hands were just in front of him, that might have been worth stopping and asking if he was okay. Hey! Philip Smith, building services. Different to stags. Okay, we want to take a right-hand turn at this roundabout, head towards the M5. And uh, like I said, I would imagine it's main roads from now. No more country roads. We're out of the country. Lovely jubbly. Brilliant. Yeah, so A39 right onto the A361, according to the sat nav, and then uh, yeah, follow that to the uh, to the M5 towards Taunton, and um, back to the yard, swap trailer, and then we've got to go get loaded from uh, Aston Down Airfield. Anyway, I do hope you have enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm trying to do something slightly different. Um, do a bit of countryside. I want to do some town driving and city driving as well. So something a little bit different. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Yeah, we'll go from there. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye -bye.